and welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss how we can find a translated image using reflection and light reflection. Till now we have discussed performing a single transformation that is translation or reflection or rotation. Now we see how can we perform more than one transformation for a given figure now, a transformation made up of successive transformations is called a composition. Now, let us discuss translation by repeated reflections. Now, we can find the translation of a given figure by performing a reflection in the first of two parallel lines and reflecting the obtained image again in the other parallel line now suppose we are given a quadrilateral ABCD and we want to find its translated image using sequence of reflections. Now here let us draw a line M. We first reflect the given figure in line M and here we get a coordinator A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash and this is reflected image of the given figure. Now we again reflect the image A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash in the line N which is parallel to the line M. Now Quadrilateral A double dash, B double dash, C double dash, D double dash is the new reflected image of quadrilateral A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash. And if we compare the two quadrilaterals, that is given figure, which is the quadrilateral A, B, C, D, and the final image which is the quadrilateral A double dash, B double dash, C double dash, D double dash, we see that quadrilateral A double dash, B double dash, C double dash, D double dash is a translation of quadrilateral A, B, C, D. Thus, we can obtain a translated image by reflecting the figure successively in two parallel lines and now let us discuss light reflection. Now a light reflection is the composition of the plane that consists of a line of reflection and a translation in the direction of the line of reflection performed in either order. Now let us have a triangle ABC having vertices A with coordinates 1, 2, B with coordinates 5, 3 and C with coordinates 3, 4. Now we have to reflect this triangle in Y axis on the coordinate plane. Now for reflection in Y axis we have the transformation where xy transforms to minus xy. Now the given triangle has vertices A with coordinates 1, 2, B with coordinates 5, 3 and C with coordinates 3, 4. Now we have to reflect these vertices in y-axis. So using this transformation Vertex A with coordinates 1, 2 transforms to vertex A dash with coordinates minus 1, 2. Vertex B with coordinates 5, 3 transforms to vertex B dash with coordinates minus 5, 3. Vertex C with coordinates 3, 4 transforms to vertex C dash with coordinates minus 3, 4. Now let us plot these points on the coordinate plane. 
Now when we plot these points on the coordinate plane, we get image which is given by triangle A dash, B dash, C dash which is the image of triangle ABC when reflected in Y axis. Now we know that a light reflection is the composition of the plane that consists of a line of reflection and a translation in the direction of the line of reflection. Now here we have reflected triangle ABC in Y axis. Now we translate the reflected image using the transformation where xy transforms to x minus 0, y minus 4, here a is 0 and b is minus 4 in the transformation where xy transforms to x plus a y plus b which is a translation so using this translation that is this translation we will translate triangle a dash b dash c dash now we have vertex a dash with coordinates minus 1 2 vertex b dash with coordinates minus 5 3 and vertex C dash with coordinates minus 3, 4. Now using this translation, vertex A dash with coordinates minus 1, 2 transforms to vertex A double dash with coordinates minus 1, minus 0, that is minus 1, 2, minus 4, that is minus 2. Similarly, Using this translation, vertex B dash with coordinates minus 5, 3 transforms to vertex B double dash with coordinates minus 5, minus 0, that is minus 5, 3, minus 4, that is minus 1. Similarly, vertex C dash with coordinates minus 3, 4 transforms to vertex C double dash with coordinates minus 3, 0. Now let us plot these points on the coordinate plane. So here we have plotted all three points on the coordinate plane and we get a triangle A double dash, B double dash, C double dash. So triangle a dash, B dash, C dash is translated to triangle A double dash, B double dash, C double dash. And triangle A double dash, B double dash, C double dash is the final image. So this type of composition of the plane that consists of a line of reflection and a translation in the direction of the line of reflection is called light reflection. Now you must note that we have to translate in the direction of line of reflection given by y-axis. Since y-axis is vertical, so translation will also be vertical. That is why we do not move horizontal in translation. So we have taken x minus 0 that is a is equal to 0. Thus if we reflect over a vertical line, the translation will be up or down and if we reflect 
over a horizontal line then the translation will be left or right also glide reflection preserves distance so it is an isometry now in glide reflection order does not matter we can reflect the figure followed by a translation or we can translate first followed by a reflection now in this example we have reflected the original image in y axis followed by a translation we can also do translation first followed by reflection in both these cases we will get triangle a double dash b double dash c double dash as final image so order does not matter in glide reflection so in this session we have discussed how we can find a translated image using reflection and glide reflection and this completes our session hope you all have enjoyed the session